now let us see how to find prime implicants and essential prime implicants in a Karnoff map. Uh, we have three examples. Let's see the first example. Sigma M of 1, 5, 6, 7, 11, 12, 13, 15. So for all these mean terms, we have to write one in the Karnoff map. So already the mapping is done for all the three problems. So first let us simplify the problem and then we need to find out uh, number of prime implicants as well as essential prime implicants. Uh, so first let us simplify the problem. Uh, we can make these two cells here as one group. We know that the group is in the powers of 2. So first we have to search as for 2 power 4, 16 cells. If 16 ones are not available, then search for 8 ones. If 8 ones are not available, then 4 ones, 2 ones, 1 1 likewise. Next we can make these two cells here as one group. Next we can make these two cells here as another group. Next we can make these two cells here as another group. So let it be group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4. So the simplified expression for this problem is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. We know how to find out the mean term. So if you observe 1, so for this group what is the mean term? 0 is common, so A bar. If you observe this one. 0 1 0 1 means c bar d so a bar c bar d is the mean term for the first group likewise we can easily write uh, the mean terms for the remaining groups also now let us find out prime implicants what is a prime implicant prime implicant means the largest possible group of ones in order to cover that one so in order to cover this one this is the largest possible group in order to cover this one this is the largest possible group Next, this is the largest possible group. This is the largest possible group. Here, each group contains two cells. So, all the four groups are four prime implicants. And then we can make we can make these four cells as another group also. Why? Because the group means it may contain four cells also. So, we can make these four cells as another group. So, the number of prime implicants are so 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 1. 1, 2, 3, 4 plus this group. So totally we have 5 prime implicants. Now let us find out number of essential prime implicants. Let's see what is essential prime implicant. It Essential prime implicant is a prime implicant in which it contains at least in which it contains at least a single one but that one is not covered by any other prime implicant. If you take this group here we have single one but this one is not covered by any other prime implicant. If you take this group, we have single one, which is not covered by any other prime implicant. Here we have four implicants. So it is not covered by any other prime implicant. It is also not covered by any other prime implicant. So we have four essential prime implicants are there. But if we consider this one, all these ones are covered by other prime implicant. If we focus on this one, so this one is covered by this prime implicant. If we consider this one, this one is covered by this implicant. If we consider this one, this is covered by this implicant. So here all the ones are covered by other prime implicants. So the number of essential prime implicants are 4. Now let us see the second problem. Uh, already the mapping is done. So first let us solve the problem. So this is one group. We can make these two cells as one group. So this is one prime implicant. Next we can make these two cells as another group. Next we can make these two cells as another group. Okay. So totally we have, this is the simplified expression for solving this problem. Here totally we have how many prime implicants are there? This is the first prime implicant, second prime implicant, third prime implicant. So 3 plus, 3 plus. Now let's check whether any other prime implicants are there or not. Okay. In order to cover this one, we can use this group also. We can make these two cells as a group also. So 3 plus 1 plus, plus. Next, in order to cover this one, this one, we can make these two cells as a group. So 1 plus. Next, in order to cover this one and this one, we can make these two cells as another group. So this is another prime implicant. So originally we have three implicants. Next, 4, 5, 6. So the number of total number of prime implicants are 6. Now let us find out total number of essential prime implicants. So if we consider this group, all the ones are covered by other prime implicants. So here also the ones are covered by other prime implicants. Here also the ones are covered by other prime implicants. 
so the total number of essential prime implicants are zero so total number of prime implicants are six whereas essential prime implicants are zero now let us solve the last problem so this is the problem already the mapping is done so we can make these two cells as one group so this is one prime implicant we can make this cell these two as one group why because what is a prime implicant to cover a single one the largest possible group so to cover this one this is the largest possible group to cover this one this is the largest possible group to cover this one this is the largest possible group so 4 plus 4 plus next we can make these two cells as another group so this is uh, another yeah for simplified expression these are the four implicants okay these are the four mean terms these are the four groups now let us find out uh, number of prime implicants so 4 plus 1 plus uh, 4 plus 1 plus next we can make next we can make these two as another group so 4 plus so 1 plus 1 so that is equal to 6 so total number of prime implicants are 6 now let us calculate total number of essential prime implicant this group contains a single one which is not covered by any other group so 1 plus this group also contains a single one which is not covered by any other group uh, and next uh, these groups contains ones but they are covered by other groups okay so here we have two essential prime implicants this group and this group okay so total number of essential prime implicants are two so in this way we can easily find out uh, prime implicants total number of prime implicants and total number of essential prime implicants if you want we can write the mean terms for those prime implicants very very easily